our main topic for this video is uh, about one of the function in AutoCount system, which is stock assembly. So stock assembly module actually suitable for those company that purchase like raw material or have their own production line to produce uh, those uh, finished goods that sell in the market. So this function able to let the company to control their inventory uh, from raw material until the finished goods. Okay, so now we will show you uh, the module in the AutoCount system. So before that, uh, you will need to enable the module before using it. So you will need to go to the tools under the program control and then choose for the module setting. So at here, you must make sure uh, you have tick for the stock assembly function. Okay, once you take it already, then you will be able to see the stock assembly over the drop down list. Okay, so before we proceed to the transaction, so some of the maintenance that we will need to be done before the stock assembly uh, can be functioning well. So at the stock here, you can go to the more stock maintenance. Okay, under the item bone maintenance, So for item bone maintenance, uh, it will do all the setting for every finished good with the fixed formula. But sometimes it might be different, which means that uh, some of the finish, uh, raw finished good of the raw material, that is no need for some production. So for example, uh, you produce a uh, office chair that without or with the armrest. So then we will need to go to the bomb optional, which under the stock. So at here, okay. So at here you can do the setting for the which item you can choose the code and what optional uh code that you will needed to put in over here. So at boom optional, so at boom optional, you can do the setting for the raw material, which is, so then you can add in in the list over here, okay. And for example, you can see that uh, I have a boom optional A and boom optional B. Then what is the quantity that needed and overhead cost? So all can put it inside here, okay? Then the optional raw material is applied to which finished goods. So you can add in here, it can be select uh, multiple. So you can be select be multiple for let's say a bone finished good item number one, okay? So for those produce that need to be this setting, okay? So for boom optional, you can do the setting over here for the raw material, which is option, optional. So you can type in your optional code, the description. Okay, so you can choose over here. You can see that is a boom optional A and boom optional B. So all can put it inside here. Okay, then the optional raw material is applied to which finished good item. Then you can add in over here, the second tab. Okay, so the list over here actually can be select multiple. It's not only been one. Okay, then after done the, all the setting, so now we can move on to the stock assembly and stock assembly order function. Okay. Okay, so for the stock assembly order, okay, Meaning is like, uh, okay, for example, now management want to do some production, like a formal order to your production department in order to produce uh, those finished goods, okay? So this is the function and the module that we can use in order to like uh, place an order to your production department, okay? So at here, we can create a new document over here, okay? So description. And any reference uh, document number that you have, you can key in over here. Okay. For example, today, I would like to uh, place an order for the bone finish good. Okay. Once you have clicked it, so the system will auto list down all the raw material that needed in order to produce this item. So for example, if let's say this order, I want to produce a quantity of 30. So when I have a key in 30, 
you can see that all raw material quantity will auto help me up to date the item cost and the overhead cost in order to get the subtotal. Okay. Other than that, the assembly cost also will be up to date. Okay, so if let's say uh, this finished good, then need to apply your optional item raw material, then you can click the apply bolt, and then you click a tick here, and then you click OK. So automatically, system will add in the BOM optional A and BOM optional B for you in the stock assembly order in order to produce the 30 quantity of this finished good. Okay, then we continue. Then you can see the raw material status over here. Okay, here will let you know the required quantity that needed in order to produce the order quantity of the finished good and how much that on-hand quantity you have and the forecast quantity, which means that uh, how much that you still needed. And then it will let you know whether you have enough raw material in order to produce the finished good that you put in the total quantity over here. Okay, so if I say not enough, then you will know you need to place order for those uh, raw material before you uh, place the uh, stock assembly order. Okay, and then uh, move on to the more header. More header is uh, you can self key in any remark if needed. Okay, and then for external link, you can attach some document for this assembly order. For let's say like uh, your company needs some proof so you can choose your document any you can attach inside and then uh, any notes that you needed to remark for this order as well so once i've done all of this then you can uh, click save or save and preview okay once you click save and preview already then it will come out the stock assembly order So it will come out this PDF uh, file, which means that in the stock assembly order at here, you, you will know what is the item that you want the production department to produce. And then what's the quantity and the document numbering, the date and the reference document number. So at the item here, you will list it down all the material that needed in order to produce this. So this is like kind of a report. So at the action here, you can either choose to print over here or you can export to pdf or you can directly send whatsapp to your production uh, department to proceed this order okay so after got the assembly order so actually you can still print some listing so you will know like uh, today or this month how many assembly order have been created okay so you can filter it by here then i can directly click inquiry so any listing it will list it down over here then it will show you uh, what document number and what description and what item could be produced okay so this is a kind of a listing then you can also a uh, preview print and uh, send it to your management okay for viewing and then secondly, other than a print listing, you can print the stock assembly or the in detail listing. So when we click over here, same thing, got some basic filtering over here, then you click inquiry. Okay, at here, you would uh, more clearly know that what document number or what raw material that needed for this. Okay, for example, the document uh, AO0002, so in order to uh, finish, done the finished good for the BOMFG, the finished good, so any uh, raw material one, raw material two, and raw material three that needed or total cost over here, it will all listed down in detail for you, okay? So you can also uh, preview and print it out. Okay, so thirdly, for the print listing, over here you can print out standing stock assembly order listing okay which means that you can filter by your date range your document number or the item code itself okay once you click inquiry 
Okay, at here, uh, this will let you know which order that already sent out but not yet been done. Okay, so uh, maybe it's like some requests, uh, you already sent the order today, but then the production line didn't uh, do any action. So you can check any outstanding over here. So you can check, okay, if let's say uh, I place order for the quantity of 30, but then outstanding still have 20, which means that production department only uh, done the production about 10 uh, tens unit of the finished good. So you can check it over here. Okay, so at production side, maybe some order already done. So at system, we can go to the stock assembly there to create a new. So at here, we no need to key in everything over here. Okay, so when I click a new document, can click the transfer from assembly order. So at here, it will list down all order that have not been done. Okay. At here is the for production department to uh, in stock for those finished goods that have been done. So for example, my PO uh, for the stock assembly order is about 30, but then remaining got 20. Okay, maybe today they already finished like 10. So you can uh, type it over here and then you click OK. It will uh, transfer all the document from assembly order to stock assembly. So you don't need to key in everything. So at here, it will show you in order to process the 10 quantity of the finished good, okay, how uh, much quantity that require for the raw material. If let's say at end of the day, the production line found that A, I'm not using only 10, maybe I already used 12. So they can directly key in over the 12 quantity over here, then system will directly out the stock of the raw material. Okay, so once you have key in 12, you can see the system will auto updated the variance quantity of 2 for you and updated the item cost and overhead cost and be the final subtotal over here. Okay. Okay, so once done uh, over this one, soon we can uh, directly click save and preview. Okay, so this is the document for stock assembly. So at here, also same thing, you can uh, print out or you can export to the PDF file or directly send WhatsApp to your management to update it for the stock assembly uh, document. Okay, so this is the function for the auto count system, assembly order and print out the listing for the outstanding report. Okay, so at here, you can see my finished good for the bone finished good. Actually, uh, total quantity is 30, but then still uh, pending for the outstanding for 20. So you can see the balance quantity that not yet been done from the production team. Okay, so other than that, uh, another fun function for the stock assembly is called the multi-level assembly. This uh, also same, you need to go to the tools, program control, module setting, and must make sure that the multi-level assembly module is being ticked over here. Okay, once have been ticked. So actually what is multi-level assembly? Mm, for example, at item bone uh, finish goods, okay, over here, okay, the item bone finish good, okay. One of the finished good, uh, also one of your kind of raw material in order to produce the finished good. So same thing, we need to set uh, all the formula over here, which means that at here, you can see the bone finished good, bone uh, raw material one. Actually, in order to produce the raw material one, you need the bone submaterial A and bone submaterial B to finish this material. So this is what we call as a multi-level assembly, okay? When we go to our stock assembly order or stock assembly after choose the finished good. So when we go to the stock assembly uh, document, you can click the edit part. You will see this uh, function which call converter to multi-level. Okay, system will prompt out a message. So, which means that are you confirmed uh, to change it to multi-level? Then you just click yes. 
Okay, once you have clicked yes, right? Uh, one of the like bone material ones, which means that need sub A and sub B in order to finish a uh, raw material one, it will also prompt out in the stock assembly uh, document. Okay, so it will auto add in these two items inside. So meaning when we want to produce uh, this finished good, it not only will deduct your raw material 1, 2, and 3, but also your sub A and sub B item. So if you got add in the, in the assembly cost, actually it will be updated the cost inside. So system will auto count all the cost. So after we save the stock assembly, so now we can uh, move to our stock card report which over the stock module here, stock card report. So at here, we can uh, do the filtering. Okay, after we do the filtering, we click inquiry. Okay, at here, you can see my uh, bone finished good already in stock for 10. And the bone material one already deducted 12 because to produce the 10 unit of my finished good. And then the bone material 2 and bone material 3. All the stock that in and out, you can uh, view over the stock card report. So auto count system will help you to auto uh, in stock and deduct those uh, material that's already use it uh, in your inventory control. So no need to manually to uh, do the stock issue and stock receive. So based on all the formula that has set it, system will auto uh, do all these things. So next, we will proceed to the inquiry side. So at inquiry here, you can click on the bone material usage inquiry. Okay, so at here, for example, bone raw material ones. It will let you know what finished good that need and how much uh, quantity needed also for raw material in order to produce the finished good. So you can do uh, any inquiry that are listed down here. So it will show it to you what uh, needed. Okay, so for example, sub A, you will need to produce raw material one. Okay, so quantity needed also be one. Okay. Okay, so next inquiry, we will proceed to the track bone material inquiry. Okay, so at here, we can choose for the finished good. Okay, for example, uh, if let's say your, I don't yet start any of my production, okay, but company need to forecast whether the stock balance enough or not to produce the finished good. So you can check it from here. So if let's say for this finished good, the quantity that needed for me next order will be 20 maybe. Well, so when I click inquiry that time, so system will let you know what raw material that needed. So in order to be done this production, you will need raw material one, two, and three. Okay. Other than the raw material listed out, here will also let you to know that what quantity, how much quantity that required in order to done this production. Okay, so at here you will see the required quantity, available quantity, total required quantity, and balanced quantity that you still needed in order to produce this. So this one uh, is a kind of a summary uh, to forecast whether your bone material or raw material whether enough. Okay, so so far the stock assembly for is like uh, first, you need to do the item bone maintenance, then set for the bone optional, and then continue with the stock assembly order and stock assembly. Okay, so in auto count system, the other than stock assembly function. Okay, so other than stock assembly function in auto count system, we have another work function which call the stock the assembly function. So same thing, you will need to go double check uh, whether the module setting got a tick for the stock the assembly function. Okay. Okay, so stock the assembly meaning is a. Uh, you need to disem disassemble a finished good to a few item. So at first, something you need to do is the uh, same thing. Do the setting 
at the item bone maintenance there. Then after that, we can directly go to the stock the assembly. So sometime we will buy a finished good from our supplier, but our company will go through a process to split out the finished good into few raw materials. Okay. That means uh, at here you can choose your finished good item. Okay, so for example, okay, this is the finished good that I bought. Okay. Uh, once I bought this finished goods, so what the assemble raw material I can get, which means that I can get raw material one, two, and three. So at here for the cost fraction, actually is a kind of like percentage of the total cost of this finished good. Okay, once you have done the cost fraction, a uh, system will auto calculate the item cost per raw material for you. So you no need to adjust by own uh, one by one. So if let's say uh, here is not like 100%, when you save that time, okay, which means that I change it to 33%. So which means that when you save that time, it will prop out a message to notify you that it's not equal to 100%. So if let's say you want to continue, then you click yes. If let's say no, you can adjust back the cost fraction directly over here. So I can adjust back to 34 and then I click save it. So it was success uh, to save the things. And then once done already, you can go back to your stock card report. Okay, when you click inquiry, okay, for example, I see my finished good. So at here, you will see the stock card report will auto deduct my five quantity of my finished good. And then my raw material one, raw material two, and raw material three, they will auto add in five quantity for me. So for this function, actually only certain industry or company will use it. Or some finished good have been wrongly be produced, then can I go through the this assembly process. Okay, so this is all about the stock assembly and stock the assembly uh, module function. So uh, that's all for to this video today. Thank you.